Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Heroic here back with a brand new video on the channel And as you guys can tell we are on my brand new faction server called MC complex now guys I am not gonna lie I have not been this hyped for a faction season in such a long time and to actually go ahead and kickstart this season We are doing a massive giveaway right off the bat to celebrate the brand new opening of this season this Friday June 16th at 5 p.m. EST we are going to be giving away three of the top ranks on the server each of which is over 100 $120. All that you guys have to do to enter the giveaway is go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment your IGN, and uh, you also get a bonus point if you go ahead and log on to MC Complex using my IP, heroic.mc-complex.com. It will definitely be on your screen right now because it does directly support me and I'm so thankful for everyone that does use it. But now guys, if you haven't heard of MC Complex already, you're actually like living under a rock, bro. It's like the top server out there. I'm not going to lie. Thousands and thousands of people play on it every single day and you guys need to go ahead and hop on. And and be one of them. So guys, diving straight into the server showcase. If you guys didn't actually know, this server is 1.18 factions, which is a little bit different. There is so many opportunities with 1.18. 1.8 is actually dying. Like think about all of the new faction servers that are releasing. They're all going to 1.18. All of the prisons, the skyblock servers are all in 1.18. 1.8 is, it's pretty much dead, right? And now you guys may be thinking like, oh my goodness, I don't want to learn a brand new game mode on a brand new version. And actually you couldn't be any more wrong because the PVP is actually 1.8 as well as the cannoning it has something called parity so it's basically 1.8 cannoning on a 1.18 server and before we go ahead and hop into all these special things that this server has i want to go ahead and ask you guys right now watch the entire video and then make your judgment on the server afterwards because this is probably the most unique faction server i've actually ever seen like it doesn't compare to anything else out there Alrighty, guys so to go ahead and showcase to you guys the similarities between 1.8 and 1.18 what a better way to go ahead and join one of the top factions on the server on the current season and show you guys everything that you need to know so first things first there's probably a lot of worries about cannoning and how different it is so let us go ahead and really quickly find our buffer counters okay perfect here we go we are currently at our buffer counters and as you guys can see there is a lot of similarities between 1.8 and 1.18 obviously just a few new couple of blocks to actually go ahead and make the quality of life a lot better like the sand comps look pretty similar the power and obviously there is sand bots tnt fill all of that stuff that you guys need to go ahead and make sure you can raid also defend your base side counter and stuff like that there's just a few minor differences it's very quick to go ahead and learn now let us go ahead and show you guys what a base actually looks like on here so the rules for this current map is 10 chunk buffers and for this map specifically 45 regens are allowed but the very next map they will not be allowed so you don't have to worry about those but obviously as you guys can see 10 chunk buffers just a bunch of walls a bunch of regens and not too hard to go ahead and set up so making a base will literally take one day and you guys are completely set up for anything that the map holds ahead of you. Now, another really quick talking point I want to go ahead and talk about is actually the fact that there are zero cannoning rules on the server. If you have a cannon that works, you can use it. It doesn't matter if it's a worm cannon, a two second cannon, a 10 block overstacker, an AP, everything goes as long as it does work. So that is definitely going to be a lot of fun finding a bunch of new technology to use in the community, as well as there's literally zero faction shields to go ahead and encourage a lot more raiding happening throughout the entire season. And if we go ahead and show you guys one of our grinders really quickly i'm super laggy because there are so many spawners inside of this base but this is what one of our iron golem farms look like i apologize for the fps lag but it is like the good old days where you have ice and water flowing into lava and then all of those items go ahead and flow into a hopper system so if we go ahead and fly along inside of here you guys can see all of these are full with iron and obviously there is cell ones and money boosters to go ahead and maximize the profits but i think it's super cool to go ahead and have one of these hopper chains it's like the old og days but now guys now that you have a little bit of background all about what 1.18 factions is all about let's go ahead and hop into some super specific things that make the server super cool so my favorite part of the server is actually their custom seasonal armor sets as you guys can see here it is not normal netherite and diamond armor so we went ahead and threw on my favorite armor set the brand new celestial armor set and as you guys can see this is actually just sick like this is the coolest thing i've ever seen on factions not to mention look at the sword in my hands go ahead and switch to the the axe now we've got a pickaxe as well now the super cool thing about all these armor sets is they're actually super abilities that the armor sets have so if we actually go ahead and switch over to the imperial set really quickly so i'm in the imperial set i pretty much look like a samurai but on the sword it has a custom enchant called honorable blade one that you can only get on the imperial sword and if i go ahead and shift right click you guys can see it does a little dash forward it is super cool every single piece of armor has their own one of these so like the kamikaze enchant for example gives you strength 
rank three for however many high level of enchants it is. So obviously Kamikaze two, I will get strength three for two seconds and it goes all the way up to 10 seconds, but a Kamikaze 10 ax is super rare and will sell for a lot of money. Let us go ahead and check out another set, guys. There are so many of these sets, like there's actually an insane amount and they're all super custom and really cool. This right here is the custom ancient set and obviously it has a bunch of these custom enchants on there as well. And now to go ahead and actually make these god sets even better, since these are exclusive enchants that you can only get on these certain armor sets, you can actually go ahead and do slash infuser and get custom enchants yourself. So if we go ahead and check out the mythical runes, these are the very expensive ones. There is a bunch of different enchants. So like for example, iron lungs 10 gives permanent water breathing, extra padding, max level five gain, an increase of 2.5 hearts. And there's also a bunch of really cool ones that help you go ahead and farm on the server and grind out the economy. So like greenhouse, the crops near you will go ahead and grow a lot faster. And there is four different tiers. We got mythical runes, legendary runes, rare runes, as well as the commons. It is a super cool system. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, just go ahead and pause at any enchant. They're all super custom. I've never seen anything like these before. It's going to be fun to grind out a god set and compete in a bunch of PVP battles. But as you guys can see we are currently at the spawn where you spawn in and now straight forward there's actually a drop down with a custom war zone and inside of this war zone is going to be a bunch of pvp events there's also envoys now the pvp events are like outposts coughs stuff like that and there's a bunch of these little tunnels that actually lead to the outside world where you can actually go ahead and set up traps derp and a bunch of other opportunities for some more pvp but now guys through this war zone is actually how you find the entrance to the dark zone as well so if we go ahead and find a portal okay perfect right here is the dark zone zone entrance portal. There's a bunch of these around the war zone. If we go ahead and click on it, you guys can see we got TP'd on over. This is the main economy for this season. You want to go ahead and kill all of the mobs. So obviously there is treasure goblins. Looks like there's some rotted corpses and there's even freaking gas, bro. What is that? There's some lost explorers. You know, every single time that you guys go ahead and kill one of these mobs, you get a chance of getting a really good reward. It is the main economy for this season to go ahead and promote more PVP because obviously if you guys are in the dark zone, you can go ahead and get attacked by other factions so you guys already know there is going to be a ton of massive battles in here and i'm super excited for it especially with all of these custom armor sets and custom abilities it's going to be sick and then right through here on top of this is the exit it'll send you right back to spawn it actually sends you into the war zone as well so you can still get ganked out in the war zone you are not in the clear quite yet so now guys one of my favorite parts about this server is actually the economy that they have developed so if we go ahead and check out the shop really quickly there is a mob grinding system so that way on the first day you can't buy the top spawner obviously because that would just be super overpowered so basically you start at chicken and endermite spawners you have to go ahead and kill 10,000 of them as a faction it is not so low so if you have a faction of a bunch of people this goes by really quickly and then you go ahead and work on a tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 all the way up to tier 10 where you unlock the two best spawners in the game the evoker as well as the wither skeleton it's also really cool because they do have a bunch of custom spawners like the husk spawner stray spawner zombie piglin spawner a polar bear spawner even guys it's super sick like I'm super excited for this map and now to actually go ahead and go alongside that they did it so the economy is not super overpowered so like on all the other previous servers I've played you guys literally have billions on billions on billions of dollars within the very first couple of hours of the server opening whereas if we actually go ahead and check out the current server up the number one faction has 2.26 billion dollars worth of spawners after two months of playing the server they've only got 2.26 billion and the richest player on the entire server has 400 81 million it is not super overpowered it is a grind to go ahead and get value but that makes it literally just so much more fun and there's a bunch of raids to do and it makes it all worth it in the long run so as i mentioned this map is actually 15 man factions unlimited roster and it is a two month map they may go ahead and lower it to six weeks somewhere between six to eight week maps so all of your progress does not reset just after a couple of days or a couple of weeks but now something super cool to go ahead and alongside that is actually the reset vault so you guys can actually go ahead and take items from the current season and bring them with you to the very next map and you guys can actually go ahead and do that every single map so as you guys can see i have a full valentine's day set as well as a full imperial set in here waiting for me on the very next map that releases this friday just to go ahead and give us a boost and get a lot of pvp right off the bat another super huge bonus is you actually go ahead and use the brand new alpine client which is completely free for everybody to use their discord will be down below in the description and as you guys can see it has got everything that you need it's a lot like orbit but it is for the higher versions 1.0 
18.2 and it is also free not to mention you guys can go ahead and purchase my cape as you guys can see on my back right now it is only 9.99 on the store and it does directly support me so just use coupon heroic go ahead and cop this beautiful cape go ahead and hop on obviously it's got everything that you need it's got patch chromes bread chromes it's got perspective mod toggle sprints schematica coming very soon armor status coordinates fulbright mini map you name it it's got it okay so if this right here has not convinced you to go ahead and join the server bro like i have no idea what you are doing you guys are actually missing out on probably the biggest factions map in quite a while like we are expecting over like 500 600 players to hop on and play throughout the entire map it's going to be huge hop on the server once again this friday june 16th at 5 p.m est is the brand new release obviously using my ip to go ahead and support me heroic.mc-complex.com thank you everybody for watching all the way to the end i will definitely go ahead and see you guys on start of the world peace out